We're at the south end of Gravenhurst. Uh, typically, people recognize it as the plaza where Sobeys, the liquor store, Canadian Tire is. Um, we're down at the south end of town uh, because we're in the process of looking at a development, a uh, fairly significant development of the south end of town. Um, the plaza was originally owned by Rio Can. Uh, about a year ago, um, a company called Skyline purchased that from Rio Can. And they've been in the process of developing a plan for this area. As many people know, it's been some time since there's been really any new work being done at this end. And a lot of people have asked me as mayor, uh, what's happening at the south end? So we now have a proposal that is coming to council actually tonight. Uh, to bring forward the proposal from uh, Skyline. And I think I read somewhere about a hundred million potentially being invested in it. Um, it, it. They've also had a public meeting on January 22nd actually that they held on site here. And there was probably about 20 or 30 people that showed up for that evening to review what their plan was. So, so what they're bringing forward tonight to council is um, Rental apartments, you know, one of the things we've said right from the beginning of my term on council is how important housing is, is to Gravenhurst. We talked about the whole variety. I think you and I, Sam, have talked about that before. Variety from everything from rental to purchasing, low end, high end. And this, this is really going to be helpful to potentially to the uh, rental market. Uh, they're uh, looking at four four story condom, uh, apartment buildings, about 200 and 35, I believe, one and two bedroom apartments total. Um, along with that, a hotel that they're in, the, whether they've negotiated a deal with a hotel at this point, I'm not sure, uh, but they, their plan is to have a hotel as well. And a little bit of commercial, but the focus being on rental apartments, which we truly do not have here in Gravenhurst. I would say it's probably true to say, probably not in Muskoka. And so this is a big change and a big change for Gravenhurst having 235 apartments, which will bring a, a whole community to the south end of Gravenhurst. That goes to council tonight and uh, as a public meeting. I don't believe there'll be a decision made tonight because it's an opportunity for public to hear formally through the process of the town where they'll have an opportunity to ask questions and, and, and discuss it further. Um, and then it will be uh, decided by council as to whether it's a good plan. Uh, it certainly is very hopeful and it's something the community is very much in need of. And they're very much interested in, in moving the project forward fairly quickly. Um, they, they've done their market research and meeting with uh, the proponents early, I would say probably December we had a meeting to talk about what they were looking at <clears throat> and much more planning much before that. Uh, actually there's a great website, they have their website with the plan on it and uh, so if someone goes to skylinedevelopments.com, uh, I think it is or close to that, um, they'll see the plan for Gravenhurst and uh, it clearly articulates it. I think they want to move fairly quickly so as soon as council can give the approval to move forward with it, I think they'll start the wheels in motion.